<laughs> you would have left me for dead. I'm trying to tell you the rules. Since you don't want to the lobby, this is the DSS security. We have a gentleman in the building who's exercising his right to videotape. If you're talking about me, so why wouldn't you be man enough to say something to my face? No, you can say whatever you want. You can say whatever you want, but what I'm saying is why wouldn't you be man enough to say it to my face? Long Island on it. Oh my God, man. <laughs> I've been wanting to meet you for months, but I got a broken rib. I'm going to the clinic. 400 and... Oh my God. $500, sir. Come here, man. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island on it here. Back again with another video. Today, we're at the Department of Social Services here in... Corum, New York. We're here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're just getting inside the Department of Social Services here. We are immediately greeted with our friendly reminders that they're always recording us. Even though it always seems to be a problem when we record them. Let's hope that's not the case here today. Multiple people have gotten many emails that this Department of Social Services here, first of all, has a sign that says photographs and video recordings are not allowed. Second of all, that they treat people very badly here and don't help people the way they should. So we're here to investigate that. and. See how they treat us here today. Some more friendly reminders that they're always recording us. Are you videotaping? Um, who are you, sir? Are you videotaping? You can't do that. What? Who are you, you can't sir? Videotape, yeah. Why would that be? Oh, the blue sign that says photographs. Yeah, no, that's just a sign, though. So you cannot be here, though. But why would that be? Because the county said no. Because the county says no? Yeah, but the county can't say whether someone can video record in public or not. No, they can't. They can't say whether someone can video record in public or not. You cannot be the in here. Oh, I can. No, the, the, that's, a, that's a policy or a sign, but it doesn't trump the, the, the fact that I have the right to film in public. I have the right to gather content in public. Can I get your name? So what you're saying is that even if... The county said you cannot do it, you want to break the rules of the place. Well, no, what I'm saying is that the rules that the county put in place mm -hmm. are unconstitutional, so that way they it's don't apply. Unconstitutional, yeah, correct. How, how so that means they don't apply. Know? They don't apply because I have a right to record in public. Or I have a right to record government officials. Are you, do you work for the, directly for the county or you are a um, private agent, private uh, security company? Do you work directly for the well, county? or a private security company. You're breaking the rules of the place. I'm trying to tell you the rules. It's central to the lobby. This is DSS security. We have a gentleman in the building who's exercising his right to videotape. If you would not like yourself to be on video camera, please uh, exit the building so he can finish doing his uh, videotaping. <laughs> so, that would never, I've never had that happen before. This guy right here. I'm not. I'm not here for any of you. I'm here for them, and that's and that's what they don't understand. Well, you listen nothing to nobody. You just. I don't have to, sir. I'm not trying to. You don't have to. Th they're trying to escalate it. I'm not here for you, man. I'm here for them. See, look, he doesn't care. Why are you? Why are you doing this, man? Why are you doing this? You're trying to start something that doesn't need to be started. But no one's. But I'm not. But I'm next. I'm not next to anyone. I'm not gathering anybody's personal information. I'm not doing any of that. That's not my intention here. Well, it's just I'm crazy. You if you were, right? so what is it? Well, no, it's it's not it's not it's not about that. It's not about that. It's just it's just to promote you know transparency in our government. I've I've gotten a lot of complaints that people have been treated badly here and they're not getting the service you know by people. Yeah, you know what? That's what I've gotten. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Ask him what? Oh, you didn't say anything. You, but you did. So you don't, you can't say it to me. You can say it to him. You can do whatever you want. Okay. Free, free but why why wouldn't you be man enough to say it to me? To right here, yeah. But why wouldn't you be? But you're talking about me. So why wouldn't you be man enough to say something freedom to my face? Speech, right? 
No, you can say whatever you want. You can say whatever you want, but what I'm saying is, why wouldn't you be man enough to say it to my face? That's what I'm asking you. Sir, I'm not looking for an altercation. No, but you are because you're talking about me. Freedom of speech. Yeah, can I get your name? No. You work, you work for the county, sir. You're a public servant. I'm not trying to, if anybody wants to be blurred out, they can be blurred out. It's not, it's not about exposing. Yeah, not you. You work for the government. How do you know that? Do I have a case open? No, I'm, I'm here because, no, I'm just, I'm, no, no, no. I'm, it, again, if anybody wants their face blurred out, they can get it blurred out. But I'm here for the government because at the end of the day, many people, anybody that doesn't want to, everybody that, everybody that didn't want to, that works, that's a member of the public. Not that I have to, but because, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm a good guy, but it doesn't. I'm here to film the government because I've, I've received complaints that you, as security, security guards here, and the Department of Social Services have not, have not been treating people right. I've been getting Did complaints. You ever been to the precinct because they got more complaints than us. Oh, I've been. Oh, trust me, I've been there plenty of times. Trust me, plenty of times I've been to the precincts. Every precinct what across the, the country I've been to. Court. I've been to court. Yep, I've been to court systems. I listen. It's not just about this office. It's about you know the government yeah, versus yeah, the people, yeah. in general. You go to the White House. The well. Yeah, the White House. That would be a good one. You're speaking to right now. Who's that? The guy you're speaking to right now. Yeah. Who, what about him? He's a client. What about it? No. He, you remember what he? Asked? And if and if he wants his face no, blurry, cat? That's what I'm saying. When you ask him, when he asks you about him videotaping you. You know what he said? What? When you told him the reason why you're here? Because he said, he, well, he said that's crazy, because that is not true. Okay, but that's his experience. I'm talking about there's other people that have experiences here, sir. And you believe them? Yeah, I mean, I've received multiple so multiple think, complaints that people aren't getting the services that they need you. here. You think they're not lying to you? So multiple people have told me that they're mm -hmm. not getting no, the I'm services saying. they need here, I and then one person told me that that's impossible. Lie. So you do the math. I'm asking you, you no, think they're not lying to you? Right. Well, their way, if they get their way, that might be the case. But again, I'm here to peacefully exercise my rights. So I'm seeing how. You right now. So why don't you interview people privately? Exactly. No, if they wanted to, but they've already they've already announced that I'm here. So thank you, Mike. But thank nobody you. nobody was here. <laughs> That's what you should do. Okay. To find out the truth, interview them. No, no. Listen, man. I'm not here. I wasn't. I wasn't here. My, my, my. You're making prejudgment based on. No, based on what people have told me that's been here. And I hope they do get assistance. But you know, that's you. You don't know everybody's story, sir. I know my story. Yeah, sure. So tell me your good story. No, but okay. So tell. I've heard bad stories here. Tell me your story. Okay. Okay, but again, sometimes people get treated in a certain way, sir. Ah, that ain't true. You um, wouldn't know. You, you you can't you can't see everybody. You don't know how everybody acts here, sir. Yeah. Like I, I want people to get the help they need. I want I want people to be treated with respect when they come here. That's all. I've treated everybody, listen, and, I, and I've treated everybody, I, I like to think I'm treating you with respect, sir, and I would like to think that I'm treating every everybody here that I've treated, talked to, I'm trying to treat with them with respect. But, you know, when it, it's different when you say, hey, everybody, he's recording you. If people want to have a problem with the recording, I said I will gladly, I understand, they're here to, they're here to get services. Uh, no, but I'm not, I don't want to be... Yeah, I just want everybody to be treated equally, man. That's all. I want. I just my, my issue is not with the people. My and and that's look. That's your account. That's great. You know, that's that's one person's account. All right, guys. So they are obviously not going to do anything about us recording, and they obviously the security guards over here. So you're just trying to escalate the situation. I'm not even pointing my camera at people, sir. Oh, you're just, nobody's personal business is going to be anywhere, sir. So we have um, some applications over here. You're just trying, why, why are you trying to do that? For what? Don't you think people would like to know what type of services do you offer here to the public? I'm going to speak to um, one of these people.
Yeah. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Hi, ma'am. How are you? Can Can I ask you a question, please? What type What type of services do you offer here to the public? Uh, temporary assistance. Temporary assistance. Food stamps, temporary assistance as far as housing. Yeah, that's part of the temporary assistance. What else does that entail? Um, possible assistance with rent, utilities. It depends what they're requiring. And food stamps here as yeah. well. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. All right, do you do like health health care? Well, that, that's Medicaid, so that's a separate unit, building. Yeah. It's a different building, but if somebody gives us an application for Medicaid. Yeah. We, as a courtesy, we always enter office it to the correct building. Oh, okay, that's very nice of you guys. Thank you. And what was your name, ma'am? Miss Lapidula. Miss Lapidula. Right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. Look at all these cameras. They want to tell everybody about my camera, but they have a million cameras in here. So many cameras. Look at all the cameras you guys got out here, man. You guys don't say anything about these cameras. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You don't post them on YouTube. I, 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 but somebody could get them. But somebody could get those camera footages. They're public record. God forbid. But they're public record. Yeah, exactly. What? No, somebody could request them legally as far as like a public record. That's what I'm saying. Because they're public record and they could post them wherever they want. My my point is is that the government's always watching us. What does it What does it matter if one citizen is is recording it? You're in public. You're not. I'm not at someone's house. Yeah, but it's like like morally. No, no, and and uh, listen. But that's, I mean, if you and if they don't, if they and if they and if they came up to me know. respectfully, no. But sir, if they came up to me respectfully, say, hey, listen, can you mind? I don't want to be on the video. I'm here to just get services. Wouldn't, wouldn't I would say right, sure. Wouldn't it be right for you to go respectfully. Go, hey, bro. Let me take the initiative. You know, you know, but they're in public. The that's the point. You is that they're in public. Don't even know what you are doing until we say something to you. Yeah, I understand that. No, but the but the point is, sir, is that you know we have rights in this country, and we have to act, we have to exercise those rights. We have to act peacefully, peacefully, and that's why if you were to came up to me and say, "Hey, sir, what do you, you didn't say that? You said you can't record in here, right?" Yeah, okay, but that sign doesn't mean anything. But what I'm saying is, if you would have said, "Hey, sir, how are you? You know, how can I help you? What are you doing?" I would have said, "Hi, my name is Sean. I'm a journalist." Your name is Sean, right? Yeah, my name is Sean. When I first saw you in here, I didn't realize who you are. Until you started speaking. Yeah. So regardless of what I said to you, you're not going to stop. So keep it up. It's fine. No, I, of course it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to stop. It's but I would have explained to you, no sir. I, said it. I would have. But I would have explained it to you, sir. That's all I'm saying. It's okay. I'm not fighting with you. I, I know. There's. A, I've never been fighting with you since I walked in this door, sir. No. Never. No, I'm just telling you. No matter what I say, you're still going to. But to make a big door. announcement that someone's in here recording, you know that that could have started up some type of disorderly conduct, no, some, some type of drama. Because they don't want to see that face in your YouTube. I mean, it could have been the left. right crowd was. Probably had to protect you. Like, oh, yeah, I don't need. I don't. I don't need. I don't need protection. Respectfully, I, I don't need protection from you guys. You guys are security, right? So your job is to observe and report. I wouldn't. I wouldn't ask you to go above and beyond. If you went outside, we'd have left you for dead. You would have left me for dead. I would have explained to people, what if they could have got help? What if they're not receiving? If people said, hey, listen, why are you recording? Hey, I got a lot of complaints that this office here is not treating people well. So can I help you with anything? Is there anything? Because when people see this video, when this plat, when this video goes you know, and gets views, maybe that person can get the help that they need. I've helped a lot of people out during. So, hey, listen, they're not helping me. I've been trying to get you know, housing assistance for X amount. I've been trying to get you know, um, food stamps. I've been trying to get this, and they're not helping me. And then the minute that I bring it to light, because the new, you don't see the news coming in here, right? You don't see the news coming in here helping people, right? But I have a big platform. I have a big platform, so I can help people to get things that they need. Because once once people are saying, "Hey, why aren't you I've helping X, video, Y, and Z?" So, yeah. yeah, I have a big platform. So, and I've helped a lot of people. I've, I I truly have. And that's my intention here. You see, that's why so I'm over here. So, you, so for what again? So how are you helping them right there? No. If they needed help, you made an this guy, this office, the security officer over here made an announcement that I'm recording. I have a big platform. I can help anybody if they needed help. I wanted to just sit here and just be quiet and say, hey, if somebody was, you know, complaining about something, if somebody was saying, hey, to know what is going on. yeah, I was going to get here, quietly observe, but not stick my camera in people's faces and none of that. But that's not the point. People should be comfortable with people just recording in public because the government 
is always recording us, always. So you should just be comfortable. It's fine, but it's, it's good for them to be aware of what they, they, I mean, that's why I'm not, I could have came in here with a, if I had really bad intentions, right? I could have came in here with like a secret button, right? I could have came in here with like a secret button camera or some spy glasses and I just wanted to record people without people knowing. I'm openly recording. So somebody can come up to me and say, hey, listen, I see you're recording. I don't want to be on that, you know, I would say you're in public, but in in this specific scenario, I would help them and I'd blur their face because I understand people are here for get services and I'm trying to help they, them. To me, they get what they want. I, I mean, I would hope the majority of people do, but there's some people that fall between the cracks, right? I don't know that. I'm but sure know, there are. But I know that people come here for the services they come for. If something is missing, like paperwork, they ask them to go get it. They come back with it, they get what they want. Yeah. Nobody would be denied for just like that. Yeah. You know, so well, I've heard different. Again, like, I'm I don't know. You if you, I'm, if I've been blessed enough that I haven't had so to, believe, to come here. Sir. At least you have what? Maybe like 10 people here? Yeah. Did anyone say anything otherwise? No. Excuse me? Like the ones here right now, they can testify to that. Yes, they get what they want. And I'm, and I'm glad that they are. I'm glad that they are. That's what that's I'm here. That's what I'm here to make sure. I'm part of the people. I'm I'm part of I'm I'm part of the people here. That's, what that's I'm my saying, point. I'm saying that the complaints you get it. What are you lying to? Am I lying to you? Yeah. I mean, they could be. They could be. But I have to find out, right? I had to come here and find out. I don't see any. Only problem I ever had was you know that people said I couldn't record in here and that sign, right? So you can tell that off. But again, but. Yeah, but again, the sign, again, the sign, so anybody else, but look, the, what, look, of course, I, I recorded sign as soon as I came in, but what I'm saying is, do you see how you can't stop me from recording? So my point, maybe next time you see somebody recording and exercising their rights, you won't tell them like you told me to stop recording. Why would you tell them that? Because, because you know it's not true, it's though. Policy. But you That's know, but you, look, but you know you, that it's not. Okay, how many times you, uh, the law, don't, you can't kill nobody, but people do it. Yeah. But there's no, but there's, right. but you see, I'm still recording here, right? You have to tell it, you, know, you can't kill nobody. You yeah. Can't, you, can't steal, you can't steal out of here. But if you, you did, what happens? But if you did, what happens? There's consequences, correct? I mean, yeah. Okay, but I'm recording. There's no consequences because I'm allowed I mean, to. I mean, you get the consequences because it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's negative, you know, because they're not, they don't like that. Yeah, I mean, no, but what? Your, I mean, of course you're going to get your views and stuff, but. Yeah, but it's not about the views. Like, oh, it's 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 not it's not all about the views, sir. It's not all about the views. It's about helping people. It's about promoting transparency in our government. Of course. No, I mean it's about exercising my rights, sir. That comes with that comes with exercising my rights. <laughs> and that's always. And, do, am I am I mad at her for doing that? But but am I mad at her for doing that, sir? Am I gonna follow her out the building to see where she's? No. I'm telling you that the people, some people want their privacy. But there, but what I'm I'm trying to what I'm trying to say is, sir, is that there's no privacy in public, right? There is nothing. There's there is, no privacy. There is. There's no privacy in public. Anybody can film me. Anybody can. Not everyone that comes in here wants to see their face on YouTube. Okay, I know. I'm not saying that they want to. And if they didn't want to, they could come up to me and tell tell me that. And like for this specific scenario, I would I would oblige I would oblige and blur their face out because I don't want I don't want people not to feel uncomfortable asking for help. I'm here to help people that have have have. I'm here to help people that. Anyway, go ahead, sir. You can go ahead. Just in case you don't, you know, go ahead. Mind, you know. Well, he's got a mask on anyway, so he should be all right. But yeah, I just like I went up to the, I went up to the, I went up to the window to ask what kind of services they have here. People might not know about this building. Again, with my platform, I can show them. Hey, look, this is what you go. This is where you go when you need housing assistance, when you need uh, temporary assistance, cash assistance, food stamps. This is where you can go and get those things done. You know, then you know it's spreading the word. It's, it's, I don't have to work with people. I don't have to, you know, I shouldn't have to announce myself. I mean, you guys did a good job of announcing it for me. That's on the loudspeaker. The ones that don't want to, that don't want their face on there, they left. I mean, I didn't see anybody leave. You blur their, so you would have blurred their face out? If, so, they if they asked me, yeah, for sure. If they asked me, yeah. Right, so can you blur my face out? But you work, for, you work for the government, so it's different. You're not like a I member. Mean, I don't work for the government for sure. I, I don't work for the government. No, no, people don't work for the government. You technically are a contractor for the government, right? You work for a private security company that works for the you government. Think, you don't think everybody works for the government? No. Well, I mean, we pay taxes to the government, right? We have no choice in that matter. But that's a whole other topic. My, again, my, my issue is not with the people. It's with the government, right? And I, I've, I've affected change. You know, that's, I've had signs taken down. I've had... Do you pay taxes? Of course, yes, of course. I pay a lot of taxes. 
un unwillingly, just like you all do, right? We all unwillingly have to pay taxes, or what are they going to do to us? Put us in jail, right? Is that crazy? They take our stuff, right? That's just the way it is. But that's and there's no transparency and accountability within our government, right? So that's what I'm fighting for. I've done trainings at police departments before. This what I've built here. I've it's invited me. They've invited me to do trainings at police departments. I've exposed tyranny. I've exposed corruption. I'm fighting for the people. That's why my job is never against the people. That's why I'm in a government building. I'm not at someone's house. I'm not, you know, I'm in a government building. Anyways, guys, I'm not gonna take up any more time. It was nice talking to you. Have a great day, okay? Excuse me, sir. Thank What's you. Your, what, what is it on, on YouTube? Um, long, um, excuse me. Thank you. I appreciate you, ma'am. Thank you. Long Island Audit, sir. You can check it out there. Long Island Audit. Yeah, I'm born and raised here on the island, sir. Check it out. Thanks, man. You'll see what I'm about. Is it on live right now? No, not live, but you'll see it. It's not live. Maybe tomorrow. All right, guys. So during this audit, I had multiple conversations with people who wanted to talk to me off the record for fear of retaliation, which I completely understand. After hearing how they have been treated at the social services office and hearing their heartbreaking stories, I felt the need in my heart to give back to my community here on Long Island. I immediately went to the bank and came back to help those who needed it most. So you want to ask me a question now? Why are you filming everybody so, up here? I'm filming because I'm a... What's your name? My name is Sean. I'm an independent journalist. You're a journalist. Yeah, I'm an independent journalist. That means that I go in, I do work on stories of government corruption. Yes, ma'am, of government corruption and I try and help people. So I've heard there's a lot of corruption here at the Department of Social Services and I've heard that people, is that a yes? I've heard that they don't help people. So people have reached out to me, I have a big platform and they said, hey, I was treated poorly here at the Department of Social Services and I came here to investigate and to see how they would treat me and exercise my constitutional rights, ma'am. You? Yes, ma that's what I do. And also, I just came back from the bank because I wanted to bless people here because I see people are having a hard time and I wanted to bless you, ma'am. So here you go, I wanna bless you with $500, here's two. If you just help me. Yes, ma'am, I wanna help the people. The, I am from born and raised Suffolk County, I wanna help people. Here's two, can you hold that while I get the rest of your money? Are you serious? I'm giving you $500, yes, ma'am, can you take this, ma'am? Can you take it, thank you. Okay, don't, don't let it go out in the wind, please. And then here's, What's your name? my name is Sean, ma'am. I'm here to bless people. You I, got a business card? I don't have a business card on me. Um, Long Island audit. You can what? check it out. What do you want Here you go. There's another 300. Here's 500. I hope it helps you and your baby out. I see you got a little baby here. <laughs> it's okay. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. Are you serious? Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm serious. I, I hope it helps you and your little baby. Hey, how you doing, little man? How you doing, little man? <laughs> Oh this God. is this is why this is oh why, ma'am. This is why. I truly hope that helps you out, man. Really, I normally I do not just Are give away money to random You're, people. What do you? But I don't normally do Are that. You a or <laughs> I'm not a millionaire. You no, a I wish. Channel? I have a YouTube channel. Yes. What's your YouTube? It's Long Island Audit. Long Island Audit. Yes, ma'am. Let me write Yes, ma'am. Long Island Audit. What's up, little guy? How you doing? I normally don't do this, but I came here and, you know, God touched my heart and I wanted to help people here and I wanted to, again, my purpose in originally coming here is to, I do government corruption pieces and I do try and help people with government corruption, the police, how corrupt, you know, law enforcement is in, in you know, I try and help people across the country. I travel across the country and do this. I'm from, born and raised here in Suffolk County and um, I came here and I saw that people might need some help, so I ran to the bank. I, I'm, actually, I'm Puerto Rican, but I'm born and raised here. I'm full American, and um, yeah, ma'am. So I just came here to try and help people. God bless you. Thank you, man. God, God bless, bless you. you. <laughs> oh my fucking God! You're so cute, little guy. Found it. <laughs> Have a great day. You too, ma'am. Here you go, ma'am. I'm gonna bless you here today. Here's one, two, Thank you. three. Four. My kids appreciate you. Your kids appreciate me. I appreciate your kids. <laughs> Five. Here you go, ma'am. Five hundred dollars. God bless you, okay? Thank you. God bless you so much, all right? God bless you. <laughs> hey sir, I didn't see you there. Hey, how are you, sir? Here you go. One. Serious? Two. This is a this, this is not a prank. Oh, this is a YouTube video? Or? Three. 
<laughs> You're welcome, ma'am. Three. Three hundred. Like I got a broken rib. I'm going to the clinic. Four hundred. And. Oh my God. Five hundred dollars, sir. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, that's what I just oh, hit my oh, back. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh I'm sorry. God. I'm sorry to be hurt you. God bless you, sir. I hope it helps you out, sir. It's definitely gonna. It's gonna help you out. Yeah. That's that's what it's about, sir. That's what it's about. Hi, how are you guys? Here, I want to bless you today. Can you hold this for me? No. I want to bless you today. No. I want to help you. No? I just want to help you, ma'am, from my heart. Here, one. Here, two. Two. Three. Hold on, I got three. Four and five. Four and then five. This is to bless you. You guys are together? Or you're... Uh, he's going through some stuff. He's going to help him out. Now you both help him out. He's going through some stuff. That's for you too, sir. Five hundred dollars. That's for you. God bless you. God bless you, ma'am. Thank you. Are you for real? I'm for real. Yeah, it's real hundred dollar bills. I can't believe you. <laughs> Here, ma'am. Hi. Here, can you hold this for me? Hold this for me. Ready? One. Hold on. Two. This is to bless you. Three. Thank you. Hold on. Three. Wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> hold on. Four. My name is Sean. Hi, Sean. At five. Here you go. God bless you, ma'am. I hope so you. Much. I hope it helps you out. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate. No that. problem, ma'am. I hope it helps you. Well, look, we got another one. Come here, ma'am. Here you go. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm keeping over here. I don't want to. Oh! One, two. <laughs> wait, wait. Three. My name is Sean. Nice to meet you. One, two, three, four, and five. Does it, will I help you out today? Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. You? My name is Sean. Nice to yeah, meet you. What? what did you do? My name is Sean. I'm an independent journalist. I was just here recording earlier, exercising my rights, and I decided I wanted to bust my community. Long Island audit. Oh my god. <laughs> I've been wanting to meet you for months, bro. Really? You do good work. Yeah, man. I'm trying to get nice back, back to my community, man. man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. It's nice meeting you too. It's cool that you watch my videos. Thanks, man. Yep, Long Island audit. What is Long Island audit? Long Island audit, ma'am, yeah. Long Island audit. Can I have one photo with you so that I can show my Oh for sure we can take a photo. Yeah. Thank you. Ma'am, are you crying? Don't cry. Please don't cry. Please don't cry. Don't cry, sir. Don't cry, ma'am. Please. I, I, I just wanted to, I, you know, I would touch my heart. I wanted to give back. I received taxpayer money and I wanted to give it to you. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> I'm just Sean. I'm just the guy that was born and raised here. <laughs> I do I do YouTube videos, ma'am, and I and I hold the government accountable. That's what I do. I I, 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 I definitely do. Yeah, sure. Tend to your daughter. Take them out to dinner. All right, guys. Well, like I said, just touch my heart. I wanted to get back again, ma'am. The reason for recording is to hold me accountable to the people that watch me. That's all. Because you know, if I say it, I don't want them to say it. I don't want to say it and then them think I didn't do it. I've received money on lawsuits. So I want them. That's why my my intention is not to record their faces while I'm giving it to them. It's just it's just to prove that I did give it to them. Because there's a lot of people online that that like to hate, right? I've given to nonprofits before. I do all that in my own personal, out of my heart, like you said. But there's some people out there that will always try and bring you down and will say, hey, he didn't really give anybody any money. And then, you know, try and do like an expose on me. But I, I needed proof to say, hey, listen, out of goodness of my heart, Chase, let me take out three grand. I came here, I spoke to you guys, and, I, and some touched my heart said, you know what, go bless the people. And, and the reactions that I got, <laughs> the reactions that I got are mean everything to me. The, you know, the people that really help it, I, I hope it helps them out. Yeah, all the time. All right, take care, man. All right. All right, guys, so we're just getting out of the Department of Social Services. Definitely a different video than normal. Started off the same with the you know security guards, especially that one security guard who wanted to talk under his breath about me. He must be one of the many bootlickers out there, you know, that just blindly follow law enforcement. Again, we're a supporter of law enforcement, good law enforcement. I believe in law and order, but... We all know, we've seen in my videos and others' videos and on the news across the nation, 
a lot of tyranny in this country and we need to eradicate that. That's not a controversial statement. If you don't believe that we should eradicate tyranny, then you should go live in North Korea or go live in Russia and see how that works out for you. But again, we were here, the Department of Social Services, our point here today was not only to peacefully exercise our rights, but to see how they treated the people, to see how they treated us when we came in here, to see if what services they offered here to the public. Because I've gotten many emails since I've started auditing about this Department of Social Services, how the security guards didn't treat them well, how the people didn't. You know, security guards tried to enforce that unconstitutional sign, but I think we educated them. Making that big announcement to everybody could have been a really big problem. You know, there's no reason for that. It's very childish, and especially when there's like 30 cameras above their heads. That's just the way it is, though. You know, they just want to be childish, and luckily no one really cared that they were being recorded because they're being recorded right now, you know, just like we're being recorded right now with that camera right in front of our face. But guys, I left here feeling that I needed to do more for my community. I live close to here. I live about, I would say 15, 20 minutes away from here. And this is my community. I was born and raised here in Suffolk County, New York. Um, as you know, I've received lawsuits before and I've given away to nonprofits, a nonprofit that's actually run by law enforcement officers who do good work. Shout out to Matt Thornton and other nonprofits that I'm not gonna go into. Again, I do those things out of the kindness of my heart. I don't have to prove it to anybody, but I felt that I needed to just show people that auditors and just people in general can have a good heart and we can bless people. I didn't want to record their faces. I didn't want, you know, people to, even though they're in public, I didn't, I didn't want them to think that, you know, I'm giving them money and they have to be in the video. I just wanted to have some sort of proof to each and every one of you that I am a man of my word and I do give back to my community. I have to hold myself accountable. You know, there's a lot of bootlicking channels out there, haters that will say, you know, Sean from Long Island Audit doesn't give away anything, doesn't, you know, he doesn't care about the people. I do, I love the people, and I love the people in my, in, my, in my county here. And I hope that I truly blessed someone today. We've, we went to Chase and I pulled out $3,000 that was about what I received from my last lawsuit. And we're gonna be receiving another lawsuit soon. I can't really talk about that one yet, but we'll be, giving, we'll be giving away back to our community there. Let me know what you guys think I should do with it. Again, I appreciate all your support, your donations, your support, your calling, you know, these government officials, petitioning your grievances to your government. It means the world to me. We can do this together, ladies and gentlemen. Fellow patriots, we could do this together. Not only could we hold the government accountable, like the NYPD, this Saturday, 1 o'clock, be there, 121st Precinct, Staten Island, for our We the People protest and mass audit, but we can hold, we can also help the people that need help. Some people are just down on their luck, and you just, we need to bless them and help people out. None of this is possible without you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace. In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico and New York have repealed qualified immunity and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. 
Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.